While New Horizons was a nice addition to the series, adding many mechanics that allow ultimate customization and island building, there's a lot of simple mechanics that are missing. And I hate it. I hate the fact that we don't have bulk crafting. I'm not upset we can't craft like multiple tables at the same time. I'm upset I can only craft one piece of bait, one toy day themed wrapping paper, and one bag of medicine. The only item the developers willingly allowed us to craft multiples of is fencing. Thank freaking god. Imagine only being able to craft one fence at a time. Ugh. There definitely wouldn't be any fencing around my island. I guess it's just funny to me what they decided to not let us craft multiples of. Even log stakes, which are basically fencing, can only be crafted one at a time. Not allowing us to bulk craft seems like such an oversight. I'm picturing a tester crafting one piece of fence at a time and leaving feedback like, man, wish I could bulk craft, these fences take forever. And the developers like took it literally. Who only uses one piece of bait? Who's out here looking for a coelacanth or a golden trout with one measly bag of bait? No one. Absolutely no one. Also, why can't we just craft stuff from our storage? I guess I get why we can't do it outside, but why not in our houses? I'm sick of going into my storage to grab a bunch of wood if I'm doing a huge crafting session. Another big oversight is missing special characters. We got a few of them back with 2.0, but we're still missing a handful of the most loved NPCs of all time. Like Gracie. I'll never stop complaining about the lack of Gracie and her crazy expensive furniture. Why did she never return? Does high-end fashion not have a place on a deserted island? We get label, why not Gracie? She could show up once in a while with some fancy furniture for us deserted islanders to enjoy. I'm sitting here with over 60 million bells in my bank. Gracie missed a very large business opportunity. I'd probably end up decorating all of my villagers' houses with the furniture too. Let them live in the lap of luxury after dealing with a deserted island for a while. Speaking of Gracie Grace, why? Why did we not get a fully upgraded Nook's Cranny? The shop expansion has been in the game for 20 years! Why did the developers decide to take it away now? There's so many furniture and accessories up for sale all the time. Now we have five, just five pieces of hopefully new furniture to add to our collection every day. Granted, we can craft a bunch of stuff, so if you do need something to finish up a house or an outside area, there are dozens of options. But what if I want, I don't know, this thing? Why do I have to wait for it to show up in one of the five furniture slots? Poor Timmy and Tommy went from owning a multi-level department store to a shack on an island. At least they dress it up all cute for the holidays. Other NPCs that I hate are missing. Dr. Shrunk, who's been replaced by villagers sprinting at us. Pelly, Phyllis, and Pete, who have been replaced by a wooden stand. Digby, who I guess doesn't really have a place in this world since there isn't any street pass available on the Switch, which I kind of miss for some reason. Rover, who appears once a year to give us his photo again, probably. Blanca, whose face we'll never be able to ruin again. Rossetti and Don, who only make an appearance if you happen to get stuck on the island or to grab a cup of coffee. Wendell is replaced by the amazing artists of the New Horizons community. Phineas and his amazing Boy Scout badges that can't find their way to our islands. And Lyle. Actually, Lyle can stay away. Never really cared for him. On top of the lack of Nook's Cranny upgrades, we also didn't get the full housing expansion that we had in New Leaf. Sure, we got the extra rooms, but in New Leaf, those rooms got expansions, giving us areas the size of our main space. I was a little disappointed when I finished my house so quickly. The sheer number of furniture items helped me change up the areas enough that I'm okay with it, but I hate that I finished the main quest of the game so fast. One of the mechanics that Stardew does well is adding this little red square to show you exactly where you're about to perform a task. Why oh why doesn't terraforming have this? It would make life so much easier. And don't even mind doing one square at a time. I'd rather be able to customize every square when I'm terraforming. But I never know where the heck I'm gonna choppy choppy. Is it here? Is it there? No idea. Guess we'll just have to hit A and find out. Oh, guess it's in the wrong spot again. Adding a nice outline that shows the player where the terraforming will occur is all I ask. My only guess as to why they didn't include it was maybe they figured it would take you out of the immersion of the game. Adding a clearly unnatural square isn't realistic. Though neither are talking cats, but here we are. Speaking of talking cats, I've said it before and I'll say it again, villager personalities glow. Just bring back the old sassy friends we love to hate so much. It doesn't even have to be all the personalities, just make the snooty and cranky villagers sassy. If we don't want to be berated by our neighbors, we can just choose not to have them on our islands. Or just not talk to them. I do that now anyway. 
The closest thing we have are the snow boys. As happy as I am that the snow is finally gone, I miss those snow boys. Their sassiness fills the missing hole I have in my heart. The villagers are no longer my source of entertainment. They're just my trophy wives at this point. I hate the lag on heavily decorated islands. I guess this is more of a Switch processing issue than a New Horizons issue, but it doesn't stop me from hating it. Look at the spacing between the fences and everything else. I freaking hate it. Why does the fence go in the middle of the square of space rather than on the outside edges? Maybe it would cause furniture to clip into the fence if that was the case. Either way, it's just bleh. Where in the sable are minigames? Why do we have consoles that can somewhat properly connect to the internet and yet we have a severe lack of minigames? No fossil hunting, no balloon shooting, just a fishing and bug catching timer. And coffee. At least we can drink coffee with our friends and complain about the fact that there's almost nothing to do with their friends in the game. Many creative people in the community have taken it upon themselves to host their own events, but I miss going to Tortimer Island and competing with randos, earning medals and getting cool furniture. I still can't believe they brought Brewster back without his minigame. Such a simple mechanic to add and we got nothing. At least they kept the rewards in, but instead of playing a game, you just have to buy an insane amount of coffee and give your villager a nice caffeine addiction to match your own. Why can't I travel from one mystery island to the next? They even added the addition to play the DLC while we're at Harv's Island. So close, yet so far. I don't want to have to run back home to Orville every time I want to use a Nook Mile ticket. Does Wilbur not know how to accept a piece of paper? They added in the ability to villager hunt, which I'm forever grateful for. But they just missed the mark. I hate the lack of crossover items. We got the Sanrio and Mario items, which are great, although the only thing I use from the Mario stuff is the warp pipe. But where in the world are Splatoon and Zelda stuff? Why were these never added back? I want a Pona back on my island. Hopefully the next installment will fix some of these issues. I would love a game that truly improved upon past games instead of taking away some of the mechanics that we enjoyed so much. I love having the new gameplay like terraforming and placing furniture outside, but I hate giving up other features for it. What do you miss from past games? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!